Now to conjunction let us resort, and some wise counsel thereof report. Conjoin your elements grammatically, with all their concords conveniently. Which concords, to help a clerk, be chief instruments of all this work? For nothing may be more contrary now than to be fixed and unperfectly flow. All the grammarians of England and of France cannot teach you this concordance. This ordinal telleth where ye may it see in physic in the book d'Arbori. Join them also in rhetorical guise, with nature's ornate in purified wise. Since our tincture must be most pure and fair, be sure of pure earth, water, fire, and air. In logical wise, be it early or late, join true kinds, not sophisticate. Ignorance hereof hath made many clerks, lewdly to lease their labor and their works. Join them together also arithmetically, by subtle numbers, proportionally, whereof a little mention made there was, when Boetius said, Tu numerus elementa ligas. Join your elements musically, for two causes. One is for melody, which their accords will make to your mind the true effect when that ye shall find. And also for like is diapason, with diapente, and with diatesseron, with ipet ipaton, and lecus muse, with other accords which in music be, with their proportions cause and harmony, much like proportions be in alchemy. As for the great numbers, actual, but for the secret numbers, intellectual. You may seek them, as I said before, out of Raymond and out of Bacon's lore. Bacon showeth it darkly in his three letters all, and Raymond better in his art general. Many men ween, which doth them read, that they do understand them when they do not indeed. With astrology join elements also, to fortune their workings, as they go such simple kinds, unformed and unwrought, must craftily be guided till the end be sought. All which season they have more obedience above formed natures to stars' influence, and science perspective giveth great evidence to all the ministers of this science, and so done other science many more, and specially the science de pleno et vacuo. But the chief ministress among sciences all for help of this art is magic natural. When the four elements wisely joined be, and every each of them set in his degree, then of diverse degrees and of diverse digestion, colors will arise towards perfection. For then worketh inward heat natural, which in our substance is but intellectual. To sight unknown, hand may it not feel. His working is known to few men and sealed. And when this heat natural moved be shall, by our outward heat artificial, then nature, excited to labor, will not cease, many diversities of degrees to increase. Which is one cause by reason you may see why in our work so many colors be. Therefore it causes in this art great doubt, ignorance of heat within and without, to know how these two heats should accord and which of them, in working, should be Lord. Digestion in this work hath great likeness to digestion in things of quickness, and before other, as I witness can, it is most like to digestion of man. Therefore said Morian, our stone in generation is most like things to man's creation. In whom saith Raymond, the four degrees all of the four complexions together find ye shall, and that actually which ye cannot find amongst creatures is none other kind. Wherefore among creatures these two alone be called microcosmos, man and our stone. 
Now of digestion, the ailment and food perfectly to know is needful and full good. It is humor solid, constant with sixity, mightily meddled after some degree, in opposite passives mixed duly, engendered by inward and outward heat truly. So nothing else is our digestion, but of humor substantial I create perfection. I pray ye layman, have me excused. Though such terms with you be not used, I must use them, for all octors affirms how every science hath his proper terms. Digestion sometimes advanced may be by outward cold, as yearly you may see how in winter men eat in more meat than in summer when expansed is their heat. For cold maketh heat inward than to fly, and lige nigh together, then stronger is he, which by his strength his power is more, to make digestion than he might before. But our chief digesture, for our intent, is virtual heat of the matter digerent. Nevertheless, heat of the digestible thing helpeth digestion and her working. Feverly heat maketh no digestion. Banes may help and cause also destruction. Wine digesteth hath more heat natural than hath new most. Whole heat is accidental. Coagulation is no form substantial, but only passion of things material. More you must know when colors appear, who in principal agent in that matter clear. For sometimes it is heat, since sometimes cold it is, and sometimes moisture, and sometimes dryness. The principal agent to know at every season requires great search made by subtle reason, which is not perceived but by master's view, for they mark not how colors arise. But rue, the principal agent of the qualities for, hath power royal as lord of most honor, the remnant of qualities to convert to his kind, of which conversion an exaggerous made mind in his book of conversions natural. Whereof Raymond showeth causes spatial, it is no jape, neither light, to learn, your principal agent of all seasons to discern, which I teach you to know by signs for, by color, odor, sapor, and liquor. And first by color to serve your intent, to know thereby your principal agent, look in your vessel, which color showeth most. He that causeth him is principal of the host. As for that season, whose pride you may swage, by this our doctrine, if ye see him rage, which you may do when you well understand the cause of all colors which you have in hand, which I will teach you now shortly withal, because here and there seek them, ye nay shall. Whiteness is caused of many matters clear. And another thing termined, and so it is here. Blackness is when parts of a body dark, with thickness oppresses the clearness of the work, or else it is of a combust terrestrity, but of such combustion great hardness shall be, and by commixtion of dark, clear, and clean, shall be engendered all the colors mean. Every clear thing perspicuate and fair, standeth by the matters of water and air, whom a pure earth doth apprehend, such as shall not their clearness offend. And if in such clearness and perspicuity ye can no special color see, thereupon to judge ye may be bold, the cause of such things was exceeding cold, as crystal, beryl, and other things more. Diversity between them learn ere ye go, Crystal hath water declining toward air, wherefore it is clear, perspicuous, and fair. But where it declineth towards water more, it is dark as barrel or ice hard for. But when matters draweth towards sixty, darkness with hardness engendered shall be, as it appeareth in the adamant stone, and in other things many one. Twinkling and glittering as in magnetia is, light is caused thereof with a matter of clearness, which is superduced upon waterly vapor, 
before time incensed with heat be assured. Now, after clearness and colors in extremity, of mean colors a little show will I. Ruby color is of a thin fume succeeded in a body clear, which also is amended, when in that body reigneth plenty of light, for more or less thereof maketh more or less bright. As the amethyst followeth the ruby in dignity, in less clearness and more obscurity, and the chalcedony in slimy substance, followeth the beryl in degrees of variance, green as a smaragde is the water clear, with earth substance combust mixed full near, and the clearer substance that the earth be, the clearer greenness thereof ye shall see. Toddy is of clearness terminate, infused with thick fumosity congregate, of water and also of earth succeeded, whereby the clearness of air is suspended. One, or leady color, engendered is, of water and earthy parts without a miss, and where such parts be cold and thick, ever one color thereon shall stick as it appeareth in old laden lead, and in men that be well near dead. This one color called lividity in envious men useth much to be. Natural heat and blood done resort to the hurt, then to confirm, and leaveth cold and dry the face, for heat and blood is parted for that place. Likewise with fevers be in extremity. The nails of hands of this color will be, the sapphire color, that orient blue, like in color to the heavenly hue, is much fairer than one color to sight, for therein is more of air, water, and light than is in one color, and that by manifold, wherefore such color is more dearer sold. All other blues, the sadder that they be, they have less of air and more of terrestrity. Silver to azure soon brought will be, the cause thereof is perspicuity, which is in silver caused by air, wherefore it turneth to heavenly color fair. And quicksilver plenty within him is, causeth in silver all this brightness. Subtler earth, pure water, with clearness of air, causeth such brightness to quicksilver to repair. Citrine color yellow, as ye see in gold, is color most liking for some men to behold. Caused of many and strong digestion, for humor in him have strong decotion. Such color with heat engendered be shall, as it is in, in honey, urine, lyle, and gall. The shining of gold is caused, as I tell, of pure and subtle water, termed full well, perspicuously condensed, for water pure and fine, the more it is condensed, the better it will shine. For of a mirror the cause none other is, but moisture termed, as all clerks guess, so that it be polable withal. For air figures receive never shall, for air may not be terminate in his kind, so cause of shining in water ye shall find. With red and white, well metalled, pure and fine, will be engendered fair color citrine, so diverse commixtions of elements maketh diverse colors for diverse intents, with diverse digestions, and diverse degrees all colors be made which your eye can seize. Of elements ye must the proper color learn, whereby of colors ye may better discern. Physicians say of good herbs and soot, some be cold outward and hot within the root. Example hereof, if you list to get, behold the working of the gentle violet. Common philosophy the cause doth disclose, why cold is within and red without the rose. And Exagoras said in his conversions natural, inward and outward be contrary in things, all which is true, except such things as be of little composition and nigh simplicity. As in Scamoni and Larwell the laxative, which be not nourishing to vegetative. Remember how in every mixed thing evermore one element desireth to be king, which proud appetite of elements and vicious moveth men to be ambitious. Wherefore our Lord that best disposed can hath made ordinance for sinful man, all proud appetites to equality to bring, 
When requiem aeternum the church shall find, then shall every ambitious thought plainly appear how that it was not. Lords and beggars and all shall be in the carnal brought to equality. Your principal agent so rebate shall ye when he usurpeth above equality. Therefore Aristotle said, Compound ye our stone equal, that in him repugnance be none, neither division as ye proceed. Take heed thereto, for it is great need. And when it falleth that ye shall see all colors at once that named may be, then suffer nature with her operation at her own leisure to make generation, so that among so many colors all nature may show one principle such as shall draw towards your intent according to your desired element. This wise by colors ye may provide how in your works ye shall ye guide. Many more things of colors I may write, but this is sufficient my promise to acquite. As far forth as colors may serve your intent by them to know your principal agent. But many clerks wonder why you may see so many colors as in our stone will be before that perfect white and clear and unchangeable will appear. Considering the fewness of our ingredients, I will that answer to please their intents and teach them the truth of that great doubt. By kind of magnetia, such colors pass out whose nature is of such convertibility to every proportion and to every degree as crystal to his subject is found. For every thing that is upon the ground, which that you will crystal set under, such color hath crystal, therefore cease to wonder. Wherefore Hermes said, not untruly ne envious, ad perpetranda miracula rea unius. God hath so ordained, saith Hermes the king, to fulfill the miracles of one thing. Common philosophers thereof cannot find the virtues of our stone exceeding far their mind.